Hello crafters and makers and general lovers of journals and everything that goes with that. Um, my name is Eloise with Paper Fire Studio. I am excited to share with you some fabric finds that I found at an estate sale or two. Uh, that I'm going to, I can't possibly use it all. I, there's, there's a lot. Some of these were on bolts. So I decided to cut them up and offer them in fabric bundles on my Etsy shop. So I wanted to go through these real quick. And of course, the colors are hard to show when it's through a lens of a camera. So I'm going to describe these as best I can so you can get a sense of them. And I think you're going to be excited on these fabric bundles because if you've been to Joann's lately and priced fabric, it's crazy. So, uh, but I do have to warn you, yes, we're still in the blue gloves. So for those of you who didn't watch my last video, I explained that I'm wearing these blue gloves because I'm letting my nails air out before I get another set put on. And of course they look awful. So I'm covering them up with my latex gloves again. So let's go. Um, let me show you a couple of things. Let me move this out of the way for a second. This just does not do justice on this camera. This is hot pink. I mean, it is the most gorgeous color and it's got a sheen to it that is gorgeous. I just want you to visualize for a minute a journal cover and what you could do to decorate that. How laces would look on this and focal points would look on this. Um, it's just gorgeous. I. Um, I have these cut and I will be putting these in a bundle. I'll show you what else is going to go with it. Um, and I believe, yeah, this is three fourths of a yard. So you can get, you know, probably four journal covers out of this piece. If you wanted to make a series of journals or maybe add some fabric flips and let this be the base. Um, oh, it, it is gorgeous. This fabric is absolutely gorgeous. So that's the hot pink number. I'll put that there. But then I want to show you what also I found. And this was so fascinating. I even kept the tag that they had on this fabric. It says Hollywood, California, estate designer, five plus yards of Hand painted 1940s fabric. I it was stunning. So let me show you what this looks like. These are again some artist has hand painted roses on here, rose buds. You can see all the rose buds here. It's done in a dark pink, a light pink, and then of course they use the white. And then they also have greenery that's hand painted. Oh, they, I mean, even putting it with this color would be absolutely gorgeous. So these are going to be in my shop. Again, I'm going to put them in a bundle but I have three or four pieces of this. And again, they're, I believe, half a yard on these. Yeah, so these are half a yard. And again, there's plenty here for you to add this to your journals as even a pocket, a sheer pocket. Oh, it would be absolutely beautiful. So there's, and, and this one actually is mostly the little buds, but again, just beautiful, just beautiful. So that's the hot pink and the roses. Let me move these out of the way. 
Uh, the next one does not show up well at all. I can't get the right color to show up here. It's, it's the same fabric as the hot pink, only it is in a peach. Now that's looking a lot more yellow than it is. It's more of a peachy, um, creamy color. And again, the, the beautiful journal, even to complement this fall, in your fall journals, this would be absolutely beautiful. I know I'm gonna do a couple of covers out of this. And again, imagine it with laces, imagine it with focal points and your beautiful center piece on here. Ah, oh, they're just beautiful. So that's peach. Now we get into one that caught my eye as I'm sure you're gonna love it as well. Look at this. I have I have never <laughs> I've never seen a fabric like this. Again, it's got teals and hot pinks. These light greens in here. And then it's stamped. I mean it's woven, but it's got the impression of white flowers all over this. And it is just stunning. It, it is ridiculously stunning so it doesn't matter what season what time of year for you to make a journal out of this or again your fabric flips or tucks belly bands think of a belly band out of that oh it is gorgeous and these are in half yard pieces as well and of course I'll have the descriptions in my Etsy shop there but I have a few a few pieces of that that are gonna go in my shop it's just stunning so let me move this I'm telling you it was quite a haul all right oops sorry my computer's blowing up all right and then we have some in the upholstery weight these are more lighter weight, but here is some in the upholstery weight fabric. And here we are ready for fall. Look at that. I, it is again, the, the colors, it's a deep gold and orange and kind of maroon. It's kind of got the fall palette, a little bit of green. The fall palette is right here. And these are in half yards. So again, you can get quite a few covers, fabric flips out of this. It's gorgeous. I don't know if I can get that up any higher to show you. It's beautiful gold. Ah, so that's the upholstery. And there's one more upholstery that caught my eye as well. And this one, looks a little more shabby chic to me. I could see covers out of this and the shabby chic, that's beautiful. Two colors of green, again, you've got the colors of the roses in here, kind of a mauve and light pink, white in here. Let me show you this side. And you can see here the beautiful medallions that they have on here that are just gorgeous. And those are in half, half yards. All right, so that's a couple of the upholstery ones. And lastly, probably the one I'm most excited about, let me get flakes off of here. The one I'm most excited about was the piece of canvas that I found. Now, this piece of canvas is, it's an off-white, but it is a nice weight. It is not flimsy at all. And in fact, I've already used this on a project I'm gonna show you in a minute, but this canvas stamps well, it sews well, 
it frays beautifully that we love that frayed edge the cotton canvas I cut in pieces that are and I'll put the dimensions on um, in my shop but there is a lot of canvas here for you I did a big long strip so you could get journal covers out of this but a lot of ephemera oh let me show you what I did with it in a project we made ATC cards um, over at Sophie's Notes and I backed all my ATC cards with the canvas and stamped on them. And look how beautifully they stamp. It, it's just, and they fray beautifully. There's another one stamped. Again, they, they glue down perfect. The weight of this, it gives it a substantial feel. There's another stamp on there. And some butterflies. But again, if you have been looking, I guess you can't find this weight in the stores. That's the, the thing I was so taken back with when I saw it. I just stopped and looked and thought, oh my goodness, look at this. So canvas, it will be your a great substrate for you, whether you're a painter or a journal maker. This is master quality canvas. So this will be going up in my Etsy shop. I've got probably three or four pieces of this that are gonna go up in my shop as well. So that's all I have today. I just wanted to show you some quick um, Etsy restocks that I'm gonna put up in my shop. And they're all ready to mail out and get you started on your crafting um, next week. So, thank you all. Have a great day. And I look forward to our time again. Bye.